Everybody, welcome to TFB TV SHOT Show 2018. I'm Corey Wardrop. I'm here with Ben at the Hyperfire booth. Ben, I've been fans of you guys for a long time for a couple of different reasons, uh, but I get the feeling in talking to you off camera that there's a lot I don't know. <laughs> if you don't mind, I would like to show our viewers something that uh, I've been a fan of yours for a long time. Yeah. I get a feeling a lot of people don't, uh, don't know what this is. Um, so I, I guess what we're looking at, uh, you patented this, it's called a duplex trigger bow. Yep, so this is our duplex trigger bow and this is on our EDT designated marksman trigger. And what it's really for is that in a duty trigger, people are looking for all different types of ways they can upgrade it, but um, you know, when you want to get out to your more long range engagements or anything like that, it's really difficult to do with a mil spec trigger. So sure. what we wanted to do here was leave this curved portion up top for more of your close quarters engagement, more of your standard shooting. But then we've created... Kind of a grip it and rip it thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then being that high up on the trigger it makes you have to be a little bit more deliberate. The pull gets a little bit heavier, things like that. Sure. So we've made this flat portion down towards the bottom that gives you a little bit more leverage, gives you a little bit more ease of pull, um, and it's really just a secondary spot when you need to get down for a longer range shot in a duty scenario sure. um, to know exactly where your finger's going to go, get a little bit more leverage, and really pull that shot off. Uh, it, it's so simple. Basic yeah. leverage, and it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Uh, but what else you got? You guys got a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> So everything that we do has a purpose. There's nothing we don't. There's nothing's cookie cutter. Um, you know, we don't just want to make something to get it out there. So uh, a lot of people see this system and they think that it's just gimmick. We've actually heard that a lot, so that's why I say it today. Um, but as soon as people get it in their hands, get it in their rifles, they become believers instantly. And what this is, this is our patented cam over toggle engine. And what this does is just like a compound bow, at a certain point, it actually relieves pressure on the hammer. So that relieves pressure on the sear surfaces, which allows a nice, light, crisp trigger pull by pushing down on the hammer. But throughout, its, uh, tr throughout the hammer's travel, it actually turns around and adds that force to the hammer going into the firing pin. Right. It creates 35% more kinetic energy than even a mil-spec trigger. So wow. we're the only trigger out there that can actually lower pull weight but increase hammer energy. And you're doing that for light strikes on primers and that kind exactly. of thing. Uh, so I, that's absolutely wonderful. You got green springs in here, and I believe yep. uh, your triggers come with multiple springs that are color coded yes. for uh, for different trigger weights that you that you want to do in the in the trigger. Is that right? Yep, yep. So the green springs set this up for two and a half pounds, two point five pounds. The red set of springs sets us up for three point five pounds. Okay. And then we also have other models like our Eclipse model here, which also has a flat trigger bow and our patented hyper shoe. And what that does is that spreads out the weight on your finger, gives you a lighter perceived trigger pull weight, but it also has six position adjustment. So just like the desk designated marksman, you have different positions you can put this at for leverage and whatnot. Right. Um, so essentially this trigger has 12 different configurations that you can have it in. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Um, availability, MSRP, can you tell us of that kind of thing? Yep, so basically our HyperTouch line ranges anywhere from $200 to $275. The Eclipse is our really top line model and that's $275. Our Genesis model, which is what this entire company was founded on, runs at about $200. That's when you get down pretty to- Pretty competitive yep. for, for your competitors and what you're doing. Oh yeah, exactly, and that's just it. That's exactly what we set out to be. I mean, you know, we, we obviously need to make our money to be a, be a successful company, yep. but uh, you know, we found that there's no reason to gouge the market and just make people pay an arm and a leg just to get a trigger in their rifle. We want people to shoot hyperfire triggers, so we want it to be affordable. And, and you have a, kind of a, I hate to use the term a budget model, but you've yeah. got you've got availability in all kinds of price ranges, so that, that's that's fantastic. Um, I do know uh, you, you told me a few minutes ago you're coming out with a couple of new ideas. Yep. So uh, what we wanted to do as well is a lot of people are asking us what safety selectors will and won't work with our triggers. Everything that we do is designed around mil spec tolerances. So there are some safety selectors out there that won't work. So we get this question a lot. And what we really wanted to do is just say, you know what, here you go. Here's the safety selector for you. So we actually worked really close with our engineers for our uh, Swiss parts. And we made all the geometric tolerances the same so that you get a really nice, light, but yet crisp and defined uh, positioning of the safety selector. Right, um, probably pretty hard for our, our viewers to see this, uh, but yep. we'll, we'll explain it. I got to play with this a few minutes ago. Real positive engagement. Yes. You know, it's, it's kind of a, and I think mushy is the word that you yes. used. Yep. And when you click it, it goes solid into its its position, yep. and that's exactly what you want. There's a very audible, solid click into each position with the safety selector. Fantastic. And something else that I, I wanted to mention here, this, um, I have found, right, especially in mil spec stuff, when you run your hand on a grip, most of us have bigger hands yep. than the mil spec grip is maybe, I don't know about designed for, but yep. good for, 
and most of our fingers go way past the trigger. Yep. And you've now got options to, uh, to kind of fix that for most of us. Yep. So our Hyper Grip comes in many different models, different styles, whatever you want. But the nice thing about this is uh, Terry Bender, our owner, uh, actually, actually designed this grip. He talked with uh, different kinesiologists. He did studying himself, all sorts of things. So this is actually designed at a different angle than mil spec and much wider than mil spec. Wonderful. And so we actually left a little extra material on there too in case you wanted to trim it back for ease of use and different things like that. That's fantastic. You guys are always doing wonderful stuff. Uh, you, what we mentioned before, you've got a lot of new stuff that's coming. It's, yep. it, I'm not even allowed to ask you about. You can't tell me about. <laughs> and um, so we'll have to, uh, w w when, when can we expect to hear more news from you? Well, we're expecting that some of these products that I just showed you we're actually going to release hopefully by the end of spring here, beginning of summer. Um, and hopefully we're looking at some new stuff uh, more this summer. So really the summertime is going to be, gonna be our, our, our big debut of a lot of new things. But we're always working to improve. So Fantastic. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, not Appreciate a problem. It.